Worldwide Financial. Breaking news right now in Long Beach, and this could be a significant problem for this JetBlue aircraft that is coming in for a landing, we believe. You can see right there the nose gear on this plane is turned sideways. We have uh, Bill Thomas right now in Air 7 over the scene, over Long Beach Airport. We think he might be flying by the tower to get, have them give a visual assessment of what could be wrong with this plane. Bill. Yeah, that's right, Mark. You just did a low pass right now. As you can see, there is a problem with that nose gear. That's JetBlue. It's Flight 292. It's, I believe it's an Airbus, an A320, a twin-engine jet. We don't know where it was coming or where it was intended on going, but apparently a problem with the nose gear. It may have been intended to uh, land here at Long Beach this afternoon. They did declare an emergency, and as you can see by that low pass they did, there is a problem with that nose gear. So they did talk to the Long Beach Tower. They indicated they might have an emergency with the nose gear. The tower did confirm the nose gear is kind of tilted. It looks 90 degrees to the left, so they are going to do a go-around right now. It is an emergency situation. I believe they're going to go around and probably set up for a landing in just a few minutes. It might take five, maybe ten minutes to get their altitude back and bring it right around again. Unclear as to what they might be able to do to right that nose gear. In the meantime, firefighters at the Long Beach Airport, they are standing by and prepared for every possible emergency. And we are going to stay with that shot here as they just go on the upwind leg from the uh, Long Beach Airport. And again, we don't know where... All these pilots and the co-pilots, the flight crew, they plan for each of these contingencies, all kinds of emergency landings year-round. They have biennial flight reviews, and they're prepared for every possible contingency. So landing here in about two, maybe two and a half minutes, getting closer and closer. Yeah, we're watching this high-definition uh, picture, uh, Bill, and we can see actually from our location with that high-definition camera uh, that you can even see from here that the wheel is still cocked there, uh, still not pointing in the right direction. The pilot is bringing that plane in for a landing now. This uh, JetBlue Flight 292, 140 passengers, six crew members on board, coming in now on final approach to LAX, and we will watch this all unfold live here. What is hoped for, the best possible scenario, is that uh, the thing straightens out and it just lands normally on the runway. Or it could end up with the nose skidding down that 12,000-foot runway at LAX. But th there is so much equipment there, Michelle. They've got the cavalry out there, it mm -hmm. seems like. They've got it covered from the air, from the ground. They've got fire trucks, ambulances. And we should also yeah. note there are buses ready to transport the passengers J back to the terminal. So they are anticipating and hoping that none of the emergency equipment will be needed and that they'll be using the buses a lot more than they'll be using the emergency gear. Let's watch this thing go. And they've got their weather working in their favor, too. At this time yesterday, there were still some uh, thunder showers in the area showing up on our live Doppler 7000. But uh, today, nice, clear conditions uh, for this plane to come in and make this, uh, this uh, emergency landing. This Airbus A320 JetBlue coming in now with uh, 146 people on board. That's 140 passengers and six crew members, uh, a pilot and a co-pilot up front. All right, we are watching it now, and it's coming in low and presumably slow now. It's probably crossing the 405 and approaching uh, Sepulveda Boulevard and ultimately the uh, airport. That's uh, runway 25 left. That was the 405 freeway right there. We're getting close. 25 left, as Mark pointed out, the longest runway at LAX, the one uh, they want to use for emergency landings if they can. And here it comes in now, this JetBlue Flight 292 with that front nose gear pointed sideways. Hold the nose. Of smoke, but so far it's still intact. The landing gear. He's now slowing down as, as best he can. End of the runway. Mighty strong run of uh, landing gear here. That's the tires burning out there. Mm -hmm. All right best of all possible scenarios. It did not collapse. The chin gear, or the, the chin of that aircraft did not skid down the runway. It has come to a complete stop. They will now have to evacuate the passengers off that aircraft, but they're doing it uh, with the nose gear still in place, albeit with the tires burned away and gone, but you can see no indications of any fire on board this aircraft. It appears that this has all come to a very safe conclusion. 
Uh, we can guess now that the, uh, the emergency equi equipment is heading in that direction. Bill Thomas in Air 7, what are you seeing? Absolutely. Emergency crews are in position now. They are approaching the aircraft. You just saw them execute that soft field landing. Land as slow as you can without stalling the aircraft. They brought the nose down very gently at the end of the runway. They used up about 95% of the runway. And in just moments now, what you'll see is the emergency doors opening up, and everybody will use the emergency chutes at the direction of the stewardesses and steward, the flight attendants. You can see the uh, on the left side of that uh, JetBlue flight, 292, 1, 2, and three doors there. They'll be opening any moment now. They will deploy the emergency chutes, and then one by one, each of those passengers will be deplaned. If anybody was injured during the landing, that's unclear right now, uh, but if they were injured during that landing, there are fire crews and paramedics standing by to take care of everybody. There are three rescue helicopters on the ground here at LAX as well. If anybody had to